me, Arthur, and you're watching How to Draw Creepy Creatures. Now, uh, I'm doing a request from Julian Martinez to do a witch, and I'm guessing I probably don't need to explain what this is, because it's one of the most universal folklore concepts of all time. It's something that's found in pretty much every single culture. So, uh, but it can mean a lot of different things in modern pop culture, ranging from, like, a, a Wiccan practitioner, as in the religion, or, like, a Harry Potter character or something like that, but for this lesson because we're gearing up for Halloween we're going to do the more classical interpretation of a witch in the collective subconscious which is like the evil sort of creepy looking crone so uh without ado, further ado let's get into it let's get rid of this last witch that we did different kind of witch but we're going to do the more classical kind okay and let's begin Just start out with a basic human skeletal structure like you would when drawing a normal person. Add some muscle. Give her dress a very flame-like tattered edge. On second thought, I made her hands a little bit too pudgy. They're supposed to be spidery, very skeletal. Yeah, that's a little bit more scary. Let's go with that. And emphasize the nails. This background music is a little bit more Pirates of the Caribbean than I wanted, but I kind of like it. Save this one. Good. Draw a lot of tension lines around the waist and the knees to show that the fabric is being pulled. Areas that are in tension should look like they're under strain a lot, like the fabric could tear. That's how sh clothing looks when you're like in a very sort of awkward position like you would be if you're sitting down like this. We could do witchy shoes, but I decided to give her bare feet. I decided to top the broom off with a raven skull, kind of like the prow on a viking ship, kind of give the broom a personality of its own, make it a character as well. Thank you. 
I don't think I need to give you guys a lot of explanation on how to draw a broom. That's pretty easy, so uh, I'll let you guys figure that out for yourselves. The facial features should be very sharp, exaggerated, pay a lot of emphasis to deep, gaunt cheekbones, sunken eyes, a very sort of uh, forward-tilting eyebrow, kind of like a scowl and a hooked nose. You want her to look like a bird of prey, like she's looking down at the world, for, looking for her next victim. Try to make the hair look dirty, matted, clumped. Draw a, little, a lot of little bumps, nicks, and tears in the brim of the hat to make it look very old, worn out, and maybe raise the lip like it's blowing in the wind. Tie a billowy piece of fabric around the hat to kind of blow behind her and fill up excess space. Right? No, let's not the voice mark. And you have just drawn a witch. Now, uh, next time I'm going to show you guys how to paint it, but until then, like, share, and subscribe. If you have any uh, comments or suggestions like Julian, you can just leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, my uh, email and link to my Patreon page, if I remember to put the link to my Patreon page in at this time, are in the description. And uh, anybody, anybody who finished a lesson on the show and like to show off your artwork, you just send, send it to me. And as long as you give me your permission, I'll show off the show with your name so that everybody knows that you did it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Happy early Halloween, even though technically still September, but eh, most of my year revolves around Halloween. So, <laughs> all right, guys, bye.